morning episode again because I was really, really, really tired last night. But... victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Welcome back down into the dead, everybody. Man, this was this was kind of a hectic one. I mean, uh, I mean, as any ten goal ga- it as any ten goal game would game would usually be, but uh, but man, they uh, uh Pittsburgh. What a bad day for Pittsburgh uh, yesterday. Uh, they start the day uh, as the second wild card spot, and then, uh, and then what is it? The uh, the Penguins, uh, not the Penguins, uh, the Flyers, the Red Wings, and the uh, and the uh, uh, and the Capitals all win, and the Islanders score a point, and the uh, and the Penguins lose uh, lose in regulation. So they went from a a. 42% chance of making the playoffs to just a 12% chance of making the playoffs now. Wow. What a bad, bad day for Pittsburgh. But, in terms of the game last night, oof. Oof, my own for Pittsburgh. Eric Carlson's 1,000th game, and honestly, he forgot to show up. So, let's get uh, let's get into it. But more than this being more than this being the the one thousandth game of uh, of Eric Carlson today, last night was the first game in a Bruins uniform for Pat Maroon, the Big Rig, and I gotta say on the fourth line, he did pretty damn good. He did he did all right. He wasn't incredible, but he was but he was very serviceable. Oh, oh the uh. Uh, he had a couple. He had a couple good, uh, good stretches. He wasn't. He wasn't a world beater, but he was. Uh, but he was still, oh, pretty good. Dude. But the start of our third. Uh, the start of our third. Er, not the start of our third. The start of our er, bottom six inks last night. Honestly, Lauko. Lauko's had a pretty damn good uh, past couple of games. Games. And honestly, I could see him starting on the third. Uh, starting on the third line. In, in the playoffs, yes. I could see from the uh, I could see from the uh, from the outset our uh, our playoff lines. Means uh, Hyman Zaka Pasternak uh, on the top line, in Marchand Coyle DeBrusque on the second line. In those those lines stay on un- those lines stay unchanged and changed. And honestly, last night those lines all. Uh, we're all really, really good. 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 But, uh, uh, third line in Lauko, Lauko, Geeky, Frederick, and fourth line in, uh, and then the fourth line is, uh, is, is Beecher, Boakvist, and Maroon. And then JBR is, JBR is still a healthy scratch. And you hope, you hope Brajo comes back. You hope Brajo comes back. Okay. But uh, uh, but first period, it's uh, it's it's not really it's not really anything to write home about. It's not terrible. Bruins aren't uh, the Bruins aren't getting caved in much like the uh, like the shot uh, counter likes to uh, likes to uh, t- tell us otherwise. Bruins are getting a lot of close up shots. Meanwhile. Uh, meanwhile, oh, the Penguins are uh, are just throwing things on net and hoping something sticks. Nix. Nix. But we go to the first period tied at zero. Oh, and then second period starts. And who, boy, does the second period start. Because uh, uh, we get Jake DeBrusque with a... Uh, we get Jake DeBrusque and, uh, and who scored the second goal? Pavel Zaka. Zaka with his second consecutive twenty goal, uh, twenty goal, uh, 
Oh, outing. And uh, how many did he have in New Jersey? None. How many has he had since coming to... How many seasons has he been with the Bruins? Two. How many How many 20 goal seasons has he had with the Bruins? Two. Man. That one for one is... That one for one is just a Sweeney master class. Yes. But the first one... But the first one... Pete, Pete puts it on net and... And Alex Nedeljkovic is is pretty square to it, but he can't draw the puck. And uh, and what does uh, what does is uh, what does DeBrus do? He just pokes it through, just like he's playing pool. And that uh, and that uh, punching it through before Ricard Ricard Cal can uh, can stop him um, puts the Bruins up one nothing. And then less than twenty seconds later. Uh, uh, Bruins win the win the opening faceoff, uh, and Grizzly goes in and Grizzly goes in and fires it on net, and P.O. Joseph just does not know where to put himself, well, and he gets caught right in the middle and well, and allows Zaka to uh, score, uh, and that is two nothing Bruins within less than twenty seconds. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh fans don't need to uh, worry too long though because uh, because. Is Drew O'Connor just uh, just completely uh, eviscerates it's Matt Grizzlick's defense and, and, and drives towards the net, uh, drives towards the net, uh, and uh, and McAvoy overcommits just a little bit. He goes a little bit too far uh, and opens up the passing lane to into Brian Rust, and that ends up uh, and, and the Penguins are within one there. Kevin Shattenkirk even ends up on the uh, even ends up on the board, and I think I'm gonna stop going goal for uh, going in through this goal by goal because is ultimately uh, we're getting into one part because ultimately we're getting to one part that is still a problem with the Bruins, the power play. Oh man, the freaking power play! Hey, hey, the Bruins. The Bruins get a short-handed goal scored on them in this in this game, and during that short-handed goal, and during and during that short-handed goal that the that the Penguins score or Drew O'Connor scores it, it, it the Bruins get three shots on goal. Pittsburgh gets three shot. Pittsburgh get th- gets three short-handed shots on goal all during that time. What is going on with this power play? Hey, hey. Now look, five on five scoring, fantastic. We love that. We love to have five on five scoring. Hey, it shows that it shows that when uh, when faced with uh, with even strength adversity, you can continue to uh, you can continue to be really really productive. Now on the pow, but. When you can't score on the power play, which we are one for our last like twenty two or twenty three at this point, that's concerning. That is con- it, that's concerning, thing. especially with especially with the freaking murderers row of a uh, of a uh, of offensive talent that this this team has. Is we should not be going one for twenty two on the power play. Hey, Pasternak, uh, uh, Pasternak ended the game with a. Uh, with a slap shot on Nedeljkovic and uh, and Crosby uh, and Crosby he gave him a little bit of shit for it because it was, why are you firing a slap shot uh, up by two with three seconds left in the game and, and like uh, and Pass was like I'm not trying to score it's evident it's evident that you weren't trying to score you didn't score this game and and that was the only thing that you didn't do and look Pasnak Pasnak doing Pasta like doing literally everything this game, um, including getting to 62 assists, which is a new career high for him. Um, um, him getting to uh, like all that, fantastic job. But you need to score. You need to score. That is what we're paying you for. Ultimately, that is the reason why you're being paid 11.25 million over the next eight years. Here's is to score goals. And when you can't score goals, that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> and, uh, 
and look, do I think that this team is going to, uh, do I think this team is, is screwed uh, yet? No, because, uh, no, we're not, we're not done. We're not done. And, and just because the, just because the power play isn't really effective doesn't mean that we're not going to be, it doesn't mean you know, we're not going to be good. And we've, uh, and for what it's worth, we've reclaimed the, in the top spot in the Atlantic, uh, which means we are probably going to be, uh, we are probably going to be the, uh, the round one matchup against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And you remember what happened against uh, against the Lightning in last time. You need to cover Kucherov. Uh, and for what it's worth, if we're uh, uh, for what it's worth, uh, uh, we allowed Pittsburgh to to score on the power play this this game. And if uh, and if someone like uh, uh, if someone like Michael Bunting, who by the way. Clip, uh, straight up clipped Lena Solmark er, er, at one point, and, and like he like he came around and um, and stuck his uh, stuck his skate out and uh, and purposely tr and tripped Allmark. It is an it is a miracle that that didn't get called as as goaltender interference. Fuck Michael Bunting, and that kid has always been a prick, like, like, in just the worst way possible. Well, but uh, if, uh, but if we're allowing people like, uh, but if we're allowing in guys like Bunting to score on the power play, uh, getting someone uh, a round one matchup against a guy like uh, Kucherov, against Stamkos, against Point, that's gonna be. <sighs> but honestly, I still believe in us. I believe in us. Yes. And it's not just because Vasilevsky's had a had a pretty bad year. It's because it's because this team has the physicality. This team has the uh, has the hunger. This team has the drive. The problem is uh, the problem is just sometimes games when we have a one man advantage, we can't capitalize on it. It really really sucks. Yikes. But you know what? The big rig. Uh, with the big rig uh, in our, uh, with the big rig uh, in the fold, and with an eighteen wheeler, uh, and with an eighteen wheeler uh, amount of games left of the uh, uh, to play to uh, to win the cup, I think uh, I think that we can do it. I think that we can do it. Yeah. And that's uh, that's probably gonna be it. I'm sorry, my my neck is really fucking killing me. I slept really, really wrong last night. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Uh, is it Tuesday or Monday? I forget. I'll see you one of these days. I'll see you next game. Take care.